Uh, we know plenty about Bradley, of course, we all do. So that would uh, be a little little different type of game than the, than the last uh, two that we've had here at home in this tournament uh, because we're so familiar with, uh, with Bradley and them with us. But uh, uh, yeah, I would have preferred uh, to not have an, uh, a league opponent for, uh, you know, for another round or, or possibly two rounds if we were to win and, and advance and, and get to the, the next round. Uh, but with three, three Valley teams in the final eight, there, uh, there's a chance that this was going to happen. Uh, but for the players, I think it's, it's beneficial. Uh, uh, Will, Will Egolf is, uh, uh, did not play in our first game. And uh, he played in our second game and, and played pretty well in that game, but, <clears throat> but is really playing well right now. And uh, Egolf is their 6'9", power forward, and uh, makes three-point shots. He's scoring on the block. Uh, and Tyshawn Pickett has continued to get better and better as the year has gone on. So their two inside guys are, are uh, the most different from a month and a half ago until now, uh, both playing very well. And then their, their three starting guards have been good all year, uh, Sims Edwards, uh, Walt Lemon Jr. and, and uh, Jake Eastman, all three of those guys have been good. Uh, you know, the, the, when, when we've played Bradley, the, uh, I think the one thing that, that we've got to work hard to do is, is to keep them out of the lane uh, in transition into half court. Uh, Edwards and, and uh, Lemon do such a good job of getting the ball in the paint. And uh, we've, we've, got to, we've got to find a way to stay in front of them, keep them out of the lane. And then also with Pickett and Egolf, they, they score it well enough in the lane. So we've really got to defend the paint. And uh, as Edwards showed, though, at their place, it isn't like you can just stand, stand back and put five guys in the lane because they, they, can, make, they can make shots and they can make three-point shots. So uh, they're a tough team to, to defend. Uh, and when they are shooting the ball well, they're a really hard team to defend. So uh, from a recruiting standpoint, young guys and their families want to be at a place where they have a chance to be successful. And when you... When you can show them that you're doing it year after year, that you're in position. Uh, you know, we haven't been to the NCAA tournament every year, but we've been in position uh, each of the last five years. So um, that, uh, that helps when it comes to recruiting. What are your thoughts <clears throat> on losing a conference opponent in Creighton? You know, it's not, uh, it's, it's not good for our league. Uh, and our, our league has been been very strong. It's been very good. <clears throat> Creighton's been a big reason why. Uh, so from a league standpoint, it's not good. Uh, in saying that, uh, you know, I, I think our league is, I know our league is strong enough to be able to absorb it. And uh, our commissioner and, and the athletic directors, the presidents, they'll, they'll go out and they'll find the right team, whether that's immediately for this coming year or if they were to decide to put it off a year, whatever, <clears throat> whatever that decision may be. They'll find the right team to replace them. And 